Welcome to the desert, where we're doing a advanced five element practice. This is gonna be a pretty physical practice involving not just the flowing aspects of the five element Qigong, but also the standing postures to really build the energy. So this is a good one if you're not totally new to Qigong, if you've done a little bit and your body's kinda used to it. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> Feet under the shoulders, starting with our quintessential Qigong warm up knocking on the door of life, just turning from the hips and waist, knocking your low back, slapping your belly. Just start to notice your breath. Take a few deep breaths in through your nose. You can let them out your mouth. Start to wake up the body, prepare it for our energetic practice. Good. let's take our legs a little wider. <clears throat> it can be just a little bit, or it can be quite a lot, <clears throat> finding a kind of a low horse stance. As you shift the weight, I like to have the toes a little turned out so my knee tracks over the toe instead of kind of twisting over it. Okay, nice and warm, slow down. Let's open the joints. Here, bend your knees a little bit. <clears throat> one hand on the hip, other hand palm face up. This is one of our silk reeling exercises. And imagine we have a cup of tea in the palm there, so you're trying to keep the palm face up. Just shifting left and right. The hand goes across, over the head. Across, under the arm. And the weight is shifting wherever the hand goes or weight goes to that leg. Again, if you're feeling a little stiff in the hips or anything like that, this could be a little smaller motion. But feel free to get really wide and low with it if you want a good workout. Okay, let's switch sides. Coming across under the arm, across, over the head. Try to keep your palms spiraled face up. This is gonna open your wrist and shoulder, keeping the hips a little low to warm up the legs. Come to the center. Very nice. <clears throat> You're going to turn on your left heel. We're going to slide the hand down the leg, going sideways until we feel a stretch on the inner hamstring. So the stretch shouldn't be on your waist. You're not bending your spine, keeping a straight spine, just the hip hinging, feet perpendicular. You take one hand up, other hand stays down. Then we're going to reverse it, bringing the back hand down the other leg. Left hand comes up towards the sky, reaching up first, then over to stretch through the waist. We're gonna find a little flow out of that. So this is a little bit of sort of chi yoga, finding triangle and exalted warrior going back and forth. And feel free to keep this kind of traditional hand position or find this kind of clockwork thing with the arms. I'm just gonna give a little more challenge to your core since your hand's not supporting you here. Okay, 
you want to use your breath here. Exhale as you come down, stretch under the leg. Inhale as you come up, stretch along the waist. Just once more. Good, come up, turn your left toes forward, right toes turn to the right. Again, both legs straight. You can take your hands to your hips to help you with this. Think of your hips like they're pouring water down the right leg, so they're tilting sideways. You take your hands to position A, where we have a little more support, or position B, where we do a little more work in the core. And again, we come up, position A, or position B. Feel free to find either, exhaling down, A or B. Inhaling up, A or B. Use the breath, exhale down, stretch under the inner hamstring there. Inhale up, open the waist. Just getting the body nice and open to prepare for our deeper energetic work with our five elements. Come to the top, turn your toes forward, and we're just going to stretch over these legs. Nice forward fold, open the back of the legs, lower back. <clears throat> Not too long here, just about three or four deep breaths. <sighs> Hands can be wherever is comfortable for you to get a good stretch. Good, roll your way up. Bring your feet back in. Give it a good shake. <clears throat> All right, let's do one to open up the neck and shoulders and then we'll get into our flow. This one's called Dragon Looks at Its Tail. We're gonna look at the right palm, then turn the palms away, press them both away, mainly looking for a stretch down the right arm here. So really pull those fingers back, press through the heel of the palm. Then we're gonna turn the head over the left shoulder far as you can, as though you're trying to get the chin over the shoulder. And you're try, trying to basically bring that stretch from the more the arm up into the shoulder and the neck. So we'll do this one with a little flow too. Here we look at the hand, turn palms away, press, stretch. Relax, look at the palm. Use your inhale to help you stretch. Feel your inhale expand your chest and shoulder here. Exhale, relax. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, relax. Stretch. Relax. One more time. Holding the stretch this time. Think of the heel of the palm and the chin like they're trying to get away from each other. That's what's gonna make that stretch. We call this dynamic unifying opposition. Chin and heel of the palm moving away from each other, creating the tension and stretch. Relax down. Let's come to the other side. Looking at the left palm, your right palm is, I guess, just for decoration here. Press through the heel of your palm, spread your fingers, turn your head as far as it'll go. Relax, look at the palm, exhale. Inhale, press away, turn the head. Exhale, relax. Feel your inhale, expand your body, helping the stretch. Dragon stretches its tail, becoming a desert lizard out here. And last one, we're gonna hold, hold the stretch. Don't hold your breath though, deep breath. Relax, give it a shake. Let's give the whole body a shake, just clear any tension. Release, release. 
Use your breath in the nose, out the mouth. Hijacking our natural stress relief systems, body shaking, stretching, sighing. Clear stress, clear tension. Good. You can even lift your heels, give your bones a little knock. And get into our body, out of our mind and qigong. And we relax, pause, feel your chi, deep breath. Make sure your feet are shoulder width, toes pointing forward, knees a little soft. We're going to enter the flow here, just starting with Tai Chi opening. And then we're going to do one flow for each element and one posture. So we're inhaling up through the nose, and here exhaling through the nose as well. From here on, the lips stay closed unless for some reason you need to breathe through your mouth. Long inhale on the way up. Long exhale on the way down. And going into our crane soaring here, opening the arms. First flow for the metal element. We turn the palms face up, touch the thumb and first finger. Sink the chest back a little bit as the hands come forward. Turn your palms down, open the thumb and finger. Take an inhale, open the chest. Show you a little more from the side. Here, touch thumb and first finger. Exhale, palms face up. Palms face down, open the hands, inhale. Exhale, seal the lung and large intestine channel here, the two metal channels. And then inhale, open it up. Inhale, open the channels, fill up with energy, taking in our chi from the air. Exhale, seal it in, let it circulate inside. We start with the metal element because it connects to the lungs and gathers, helps us extract and gather the chi from the air. So then we can circulate through the rest of our organs. Nice and slow. You'll notice I'm also shifting a little forward, opening my chest, and then the chest sinks back a little bit, hips sink down slightly. It's not a huge movement, but just enough to help the chi move inside. Good. Bring your hands down, palms open, face up in front of your lower abdomen. <clears throat> your elbows are slightly floated away from the ribs, so it's like our arms are wrapped around a big beach ball with the hands underneath. So hopefully you've done a little bit of my Jan Juan training. Look for my other videos on that. It's spelled Z, Z, it looks like Zhuan Zhuang. <laughs> so those videos will help you get a little more detail on these postures. But for now, the basics are you're sinking your tailbone to lengthen your lower back. You're floating your crown and tucking back your chin to lengthen the back of your neck. And you're sinking your chest, which also helps to lengthen the low back. And all of this is just to lengthen the spine so the chi can move through the spine. And then we just touch the tongue to the roof of the mouth to help connect that energy so that it can also sink downwards from the head. So it's not all just going up the spine, but can also sink. So the sinking chest tongue anywhere on the roof of the mouth is where you want to be. And we just breathe here. 
Feel the breath sinking down. We'll have one posture for each element. And feel your lower Dan Chen, like it's anchoring the chi of the lungs, pulling the lung chi down to anchor in the body. Like there's a gravity here that helps to deepen your breath. Good. Next movement. You're going to take your left hand behind your back over the low back. Your right hand in front of your forehead. We're just going to take a small step out so we're just a little bit wider than the shoulders for this one. Here we're going to sink down, hinging at the hips. We move as though we're scooping up water with the hands. We come back up, we're looking at the palm. The palm turns away from us as we shift back across. And bend at the knees and hips, hinging down, scooping up the water. Come across and over, using our breath, exhaling through the bottom. Inhaling over the top. Exhale through the bottom, try to keep good structure here. So as the hand comes up, you notice I'm not just sort of waving it as big as I can. I'm staying relaxed and sort of put together in my body. When we're in the flows, we're not trying to reach our full range of motion. That's more Tao Yin, where we're stretching and opening the body. But in the Qigong flows, we're moving within the comfortable range of motion of our tissues. Okay, you're going to come around, switch your hands. Coming down on the left, cross like we're scooping up water. And as we come over the top, imagine like the water pours down the arm, down the back to the kidneys. Water bringing a sense of tranquility, stillness, relaxation. relax. Okay, step it in. <clears throat> Our next posture for the kidneys we call the bear because of the hump 
that you're going to hold at your back, just like a grizzly bear's hump. Also, the bear is often an animal for the kidneys. <clears throat> so it's just the same as before. That hoop, you're just holding it behind yourself. Palms are face up, but you don't have to be like OCD about it. It doesn't have to be like a perfect shelf. It should feel comfortable on your wrists, elbows, shoulders. Think about pulling your shoulder blades down and back. So you really want to try not to hunch up here. And all the same other postural principles, that tailbone's dropping, chest relaxing down, crown lifting, chin tucking back, and your fingers definitely shouldn't be touching. Nice and spread through the fingers. And just feel your breath here, particularly feel the breath go down to your low back, mid back, massaging the kidneys and door of life area. Keep a long, relaxing breath, challenging posture, but still relaxing breath, relaxed mind. can relax. Very nice. Feet back under the shoulders. One hand's going to pull back, palm face up. Other hand's going to push forward, palm face down. Then we're going to turn the hands as they push pull over each other. The palm face up hand comes back by your rib cage. Other hand pushing forward from the ribs. This is for the wood element, the liver chi. So what we're doing here is pumping and pushing the chi from the liver. So that wood energy is like the tree that wants to reach towards the sky has ambition vision growth so here we're helping to decongest it so anywhere we feel stuck in our body in our blood flow in our chi flow or in our life we're helping that liver chi to push through those obstacles and flow smoothly and evenly so you notice i'm doing a little weight shift here too the hand that's pulling back i'm shifting the weight to that foot pulling back shift to that foot Now we're going to link our breath with this. It's going to go like this. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. So inhale, push twice, all on one inhale. Exhale, pushing twice, all on one exhale.
The liver chi connects to the sinews, the tendons and ligaments. So you want to feel that expressed through the hands as you spread the fingers, push and pull with the hands. You're feeling the tendons of the upper body spreading and bouncing. And with the legs, as you shift the weight, you're feeling the bouncy quality of the tendons through the legs. And as though that feeling from the leg is coming up and expressing through the arms. Good, we're going to relax, bring our hands back to that rounded position, but bring it up in front of the chest for the embracing the tree posture. Let your shoulder blades roll down your back, fingers spread, they shouldn't be touching. You want to feel the fascia of the hand spreading, crown of the head lifting, tailbone sinking, knees a little soft, and the weight just slightly forward in the foot, that's like hitting the gas pedal on your chi. Find your breath here, feel particularly the breath massaging the liver, which lives here under your front ribs, especially on the right. Good. Relax, come down. Okay, next from wood we go to fire. Qigong for the heart. Here we're holding a big chi ball. It's basically right in front of your torso, about the size of the torso. So don't be up here or down here. Literally just torso sized ball. <clears throat> this is a variation of the fair lady works the loom. So it's called the fair lady works the shuttle. I don't know anybody who knows what a shuttle is, but everybody knows what a loom is. So I'm calling it the loom. You're gonna roll this ball to the left. Lift your left hand up by the forehead, right hand pushes underneath, fingers are spread, again feeling the chi express through the fascia. Then you're gonna drop your right hand, left hand on top of the ball, roll the ball across to the right, right hand lifts up, left hand presses. So the lower hand here just drops to the bottom, low hand stays the low hand, and they roll to switch, 
press. Lower hand, drops to the bottom, roll the ball, press. These are inhale to roll across, exhale to lift and push. Inhale, roll across, exhale, lift, press. So this one usually takes a few tries to get. It's a little more of a brain exercise, so don't worry if this isn't natural the first time. One of the great things about learning new Qigong forms is it really helps our brain stay supple and young. Keep retain that ability to learn new things. Inhaling across. Exhale, press. Here we're opening up the heart channel, which actually starts at the armpit. So you open the armpit, and then as you breathe in, it's like you're pulling the chi through the armpit across the chest and pressing out any stagnant chi from the heart. Notice my legs are staying strong. The legs aren't turning and collapsing with me. It's as though I have a ball between my knees. They're not falling in, staying strong. Drop back to the center. Bring the hands in front of the chest. Again for embrace the tree. This time you just turn the palms away from the chest. Everything else stays the same. Just turn the palms. Fingers still spread so they shouldn't touch. Keeping the fascia open. Should be like a diamond right in front of your sternum. All the same principles of the spine. The tailbone's dropping. Crown of the head's lifting. Chin's tucking back. Feel the weight slightly forward in the foot, turning on the arch of the foot. Just hold here and breathe. This time you can have a little more focus on the energy of it, feeling into your heart. Imagine that you're watching a sunrise or sunset and breathing in the golden light through the hands into the heart.
relax the hands down. Excellent. Next one for the Earth element, holding a chi ball in front of the solar plexus. So your solar plexus is your upper abdomen. Chi ball is about the size of a grapefruit or something like that. Here, the let's have our left hand on top, right hand on the bottom. The left hand is going to go out to the right as though it's skimming across a pond. Come in from the left, come under the ball, and the right hand circles to the top. And your right hand is going to go out, circle around, come in under the ball, collecting the chi to this area we call the earth center, which basically is the chi of our digestion, relates to the pancreas, stomach, and spleen. And of course, we do it with our breath. So here, exhaling, floating out, inhaling, gathering in. Exhale, pulsing out. Inhale, gather into the earth center. So with the earth element, we cultivate a sense of centeredness, inner balance, inner stability. a little weight shift. My weight is following my hand a little bit. Going just slightly from one foot to the other. And through my feet I also create this sense of groundedness. Connecting to the earth, that palm face down and soles of the feet. Bringing the earth chi to the earth center. Relax. Our last posture doesn't really look like any of the other ones. <clears throat> the palms are about level with that earth center, solar plexus. The elbows are slightly dropping in on this one. Fingers are spread. Tailbone again drops, elbows drop. Weight forward in the foot. Crown lifts. Chin tucks back. Shoulder blades relax down your back instead of wrapping forward. Chest slightly sinks. As you breathe, you can imagine you're breathing the earth chi through your hands and through your feet, and it's all gathering in the solar plexus. You don't have to imagine any, any imagery. You can just sort of breathe and feel your way towards the center. Feel the breath expand and relax here.
drop it down. We'll close pulling down the sky. This one just to help to harmonize the chi, help it to sink. So it's not rising too much to the head as we cultivate that energy in the body. Exhaling down, scanning your body head to toe. Inhaling up. Exhale, scan down from head to toe and even out to the earth just to help wash away any stuck energy down to the earth. it in. <clears throat> we'll just relax for a few breaths into bamboo in the wind. Let your knees be a little soft here, not locked. Let your shoulders relax down. Really the only thing going up, you'll feel the crown of your head being pulled towards the sky. Everything else just melting away from the crown. Relaxing, rocking, swaying. Here the idea is to just allow the chi to flow however it seems to like. We just step out of the way, letting ourselves become like an open sky. And our thoughts, emotions, and energy all just pass through like clouds. Okay, you can step it back out. Give your belly a circle, just helping the cheetah store here at the Duntian. Nice deep belly breath, help the cheetah settle. We'll release with a sigh, nice deep breath in. Let it go, let it spread, good. I like to move my joints and stretch a little bit after Qigong, just like 20, 30 seconds, just moving the body however it seems to want to go. So feel free to do that. In the meantime, if you liked this practice, you can really help my channel by hitting like, subscribe, leaving comment, leaving question, suggestion for a new video, all those things really help YouTube to know that people like my stuff. Also, if you enjoy five element Qigong, I'm running a whole teacher training on it. This is gonna be my level one uh, sort of baseline teacher training program. So you can become a Nick Lawfrey certified Qigong teacher. And basically we're gonna be learning this set as well as a couple other five element sets, a five animal Qigong set, a whole lot of Tao Yin to strengthen and stretch and open the body, which I think should be really the foundation of Qigong and a bunch of other things, lots of different meditations and things that you can share. We're gonna be going into anatomy and safe alignment. A lot of people don't know that something as gentle as Qigong can hurt a lot of people's joints and spines and things like that. So we're gonna learn how to do it safely and teach it safely. And also how to share it in a way that other people really enjoy so that you actually can make a living if that's your goal or even just use it as sort of a side gig or even just share with friends and family. This course will also be really good if you just wanna learn more about Qigong and get better at your own practice and go really deep, then it's gonna be very good for that too. So maybe I'll see you there. There's a link in the description where you can go and learn a whole lot more. It starts uh, February 13th, 2021. So if you're watching this video after that, uh, maybe sign up for my fall one, that might be up now already anyways. Uh, but if you're watching this before February 13th, which is the day after Chinese New Year, which I thought would be a fun time to start a teacher training, then head to that link, find out more about it, and uh, maybe I'll see you there. It's online every weekend, Saturday, noon to three. So if you got time in your schedule, California time, uh, Pacific on the U in the US, uh, noon to three on Saturdays, online. So be super excited if you join me there. We got a lot of good people already signed up and I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited to share just about everything I know about Qigong with uh, all of you. All right, thanks so much.